Developments on our breaking news. A tree has fallen on a camp near Yosemite Camp Tawanga, injuring at least 20 people. We have right now on the phone with us Daniel Berlant with CAL FIRE, spokesperson. Uh, Daniel, thanks for joining us. Can you first confirm what the casualty tolls may be and then talk about the rescue efforts underway? Well, originally when we received the call uh, earlier this morning around 8.30, uh, there were 20 reported injuries. Uh, we do have three fire engines that seen in multiple ambulances. Uh, so, so far there have been uh, several patients that have been transported to area hospitals both uh, by Grand Ambulance and Air Ambulance. So we're working closely with the Tuolumne County Sheriff's Department right now, uh, continuing to deal with what's been a very busy morning uh, for our crews just outside Groveland. Uh, Mr. Berlant, we have one report, sadly, that an adult was killed. Can you confirm that or, or, or deny that? You know, that's not something that we're able to confirm. I can tell you, like I said, that we that uh, at least one patient was transported by air ambulance mm -hmm. uh, in uh, in serious condition. Uh, what the result has been, uh, that, that we're not sure. Obviously, a very tragic uh, situation at a camp with uh, with many children and, and, uh, and adults uh, in attendance. And that's why we've sent so many resources and firefighters right now to uh, assist in this incident. We have a picture of the dining hall before the tree fell on it. The report we had, Mr. Berlant, was that a tree fell on this dining hall. Is that what you're hearing? Not exactly sure what the tree fell on, uh, uh, but the tree did fall uh, and, and has injured uh, several patients, whether it was in a building uh, or outside. That yet uh, we're not able to confirm. All right. Daniel Berlant with Cal Fire, thank you so much for that information as the rescue work continues in uh, Yosemite or outside where Camp Tawanga has had this terrible incident happen. We'll continue to follow that, and you can follow us on Twitter at ABC7 News Bay Area for the latest.